Hi, I'm Nick from Music Tribe. We're back with the wing again, and we're going to be looking at setting up your talkback section. The wing has two talkback options, A and B, which can be routed to different outputs. To access the talkback menu, press the view button in the monitor talkback section on the top left of the console. At the bottom of the screen, you will see the edit option. On the left hand side of the menu, you can select where the talkback mic is routed to. This is either going to be a bus output or a main output. Simply select where you want it to go. When routed to a bus, the square will illuminate orange. When routed to a main output, the square will illuminate blue. Beneath this is the auto dim monitor option. This will dim all signal in this bus or main output when a talkback signal is received. You can adjust the level of attenuation using the bus dim option. Simply select and then use the encoder on the right of the screen. On the right hand side of the menu is our talkback source. The talkback inputs are designed to work from channel 40 or AUX8. When the talkback source is selected, this will mute that channel. Pushing the mute button will not unmute this channel. The channel will only become active again when the talkback button is pressed. When the talkback button is deselected, the channel will remute itself. There are also three button modes, push, latch and auto. Push will allow the talkback to be activated when the button is pushed. When released, the talkback will disengage. Latch will allow the talkback button to work like a toggled on and off switch. The auto mode is where the real magic happens. This allows the switch to work in both modes. With a quick push, it will work in latch mode. If you push and hold the button, it will work in push mode. And you're finished. The talkback option is now rooted and set up correctly on your wing.